Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper, and TireRack.com. Whether it's movie theaters, bowling alleys, or golf driving ranges, the current strategy in entertainment is go big or go home. Luckily for speed seekers like me, that strategy also applies to go-karts. I've crossed continents to drive some of the oldest, fastest, and most famous racetracks. So it was an easy decision to head just up the turnpike to Edison, New Jersey, and add another superlative to my list. Supercharged Entertainment, we are the world's largest endo go-karting facility. Not only that, we do have two stories worth of arcade games. We also have the two-story drop tower ride, and then we also have our great 19 lanes of axe throwing. Playing games and throwing axes is cool, but I came to this brand new 131,000 square foot fun factory for one thing. Go-karting, you know, obviously it's extremely fun. Our carts actually reach up to 45 miles per hour on the track. That is our pro race. Um, we also have a different speed, which is our semi-pro, mostly for the less experienced and our younger, our younger crowd. As for the go-karts themselves, John, take it away. What makes these carts go is a pair of electric motors with a combined output of 18 horsepower, an added sound enhancement which mimics the roar of a V8 engine. The F1 style steering yoke connects to an unassisted mechanical rack, bookended by sticky Dunlop SL1 racing slicks. Greg? Thanks, JD. What I like about it, first of all, everything that's set up here is very friendly, the stuff, everything uh, pretty well organized, and it's safe. It's a long track, and certain situations, you ride behind people, you gotta change your line. If you ride by yourself, then you can set up perfect lines and try not to drift, just too smooth. Here, there are actually two tracks in one, both more than a quarter mile in length. But with speeds over 40 miles per hour, you can get around pretty quick. Actually, what is the track record around here? It's a 47.283. Challenge accepted. To break the track record, Daniel said I'd have to master the boost button. So the boost button actually gives you a boost for about two to three seconds, and it gives you a large boost. Trust me, I've tried it. My personal opinion, I think you should use it around the turns, just so you get that boost going uphill. Let's go out and try and break a track record. And up the corkscrew, light on the throttle, keeping speed. Just as I'm cresting, I'm losing speed. So I need a little boost. I'm not even touching the brake, just little lifts of the throttle, like right there. Let's push the limits here, go right on the edge. What we can do, trying to gain every possible tenth, maybe even hundredth of a second. Oh no, I made contact. That cost me a little bit of time. Boost button, here we come. Let's wait to the right second and boost it. Yeah, that's it. Woo, there it is. All right. Data doesn't lie. Let's see how fast I was. Unfortunately, my best lap was over a second shy of the record. Still, it's a top 10 time for the week. And at the world's largest indoor go-kart track, I'll take it. <laughs>